Hi all, welcome to another Chess24 Banter Blitz. It's 11.30, let me just show you this discount code. The voucher code King's Crusher will give you 15% off this amazing Chess24 site. So King's Plural Crusher, 15% off. So you can play against me or other streamers. You just turn up 20 to 20, 30 minutes before and send off a challenge. It'll be in our list of challenges and, and then you can get to play against any streamer. So let's uh, take the challenges now. Um hope audio and visual is okay if you let me know there. Okay. Uh so the first challenge has hi that <clears throat> Okay, morning Kaz. Um let's play knight f six. I think C five. Oh was that a bit of a pre-move? Knight c3. Kaz is playing a bit quick. <laughs> oh, that looks a little bit dicey, doesn't it? Queen b6. He's in b2 and e3. It's defenders though. Can I use this c file? <laughs> Okay, what about knight g4 here? If knight e5 I can take, maybe I should put my uh, king away from potential disasters. I'll castle first. Okay. Uh, if I take... I'm doing knight b4. And then knight takes the five. I'm being blitzed here. I'm being blitzed into oblivion here. <laughs> I'll try and use the pen. If I take. Okay, it looks like a bit of fun here to be had with knight g4, for knight f2. Sometimes it's useful to spend some time <laughs> on moves, just just to make sure. Uh, okay, knight f2 um, or knight e4. I think. Mm, interesting. I think knight f2 might win the exchange because of the check here and. Uh, Okay, I'll t I'll take the queens off. Oh, <laughs> is this pre-move? Is this a pre-move game? <laughs> All right, thanks for the game. Has take your time, take your time. Super Bohemia. Oh, Bohemia. Hello. Mm. All right, I'll try C5 here. Um. Yeah, again, tempo again. It's a bit scarier though, this scenario. I, I expect uh, to be a little bit on the scary side. What do I do actually? Mm. Intriguing. Uh, maybe, maybe this for bishop e6 and rook c8. Got the queen here. <clears throat> I think Bishop A2 might actually be on the cards. I could castle. Um. Hmm. Knight B4 is interesting as well. A3. 
Or was this castling? I wonder if this castling queenside. Is this castle queenside? Because I'm wondering about. Well, what am I wondering about? The C file, maybe. King B8, and then the C file. Can I use this C file? I'm in trouble here. Okay, if I put the bishop back there. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here now. Oh, it's hitting my queen. H5 and bishop h6 strike me. Uh, that's interesting. There might be bishop g5 after that, and then maybe e6. I can't play e6 at the moment. Maybe not. Um, well, f6 is a problem. So if I had something like h5, check, and bishop g5, then e6 after. On the other hand, there's some sinister looking forcing moves here for white knight, rook b5. Hmm, intriguing. I think h5 looks like, well, it's something to do with bishop h6. <clears throat> okay, I'll do this for bishop h6, I think. Or, alternatively, hmm, actually, uh, there's always rook b5 as well. And if I played a6, I'm weakening dark squares. Does that matter here to weaken dark squares? I want to rule out, yeah, rook b5. Okay, th this queen f6 is a pain. Um, I think that's a poison pawn, actually. Bishop d2 hitting the queen. That should be a poison pawn. For bishop takes c3. I don't. I hope queen takes bishop d2 as a poison pawn. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, knight e5. Does that do anything? Actually, I think I need to defend a bit more. Yeah, actually, I'm a bit concerned. Okay, I'm clearly concerned now. Queen takes, bishop d2 still might do something. Uh, f7 would drop as well, though. Like, I don't think I can keep offering that. I'm putting bishop over here for a moment. Oh, there's a target there. What about here? There's always knight d5. Knight d5 is going to be a pain as well now. Knight d5. If I played e6. Hmm. Don't know. Maybe knight here. Yeah. If I got a pair of rooks off here, yeah. if, if one pair of rooks came off, mm, you gotta put a pawn there. Yeah, I'm worried about that d5 square. If I put a bishop there, the d5 square would have been. Pretty cool to use. So what's happening here? Hmm. 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 
Doesn't queen take c3 on here for rook takes d1 mating? Rook takes d8. No, no, it doesn't work. Okay. Interesting idea, though. Um, it's something to bear in mind. But not, not quite yet. Um, here... Again, rook takes d8. Um, just hold this for a moment. There's always rook d1, d1 after queen e1. How can I get that working? Queen takes c3. How can that work? Hmm. Maybe f5 is needed here. Or will this actually just stop h4? Okay, that's nice. There is also rook. Maybe b5, bishop b7. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> Hold the position here for a moment. F6 stable. Okay. Queen D6 stabilizes E6, which means Bishop B7 becomes possible without dropping E6. Okay, I've got to protect B6. Queen E2 now. Bishop power feels okay. Uh, e6 is a liability now. Wait, why Why do I need the bishop there? Why? Okay, M maybe a5. a5 is supported at some point. Um, ah, what about bishop d7 to support a5? Push this bishop back to a2. Back row then becomes a liability again. So queen g1, I'll put some pressure soon on the position. Um, oh, just plundered the queen. I <laughs> take it. Okay, oh uh, yeah, it's too much time pressure. Okay, yeah, I just planted the queen. <laughs> Too many Leela games, I'm afraid. Too much analysis. Oh, I planted the queen. I planted the queen. But yeah, it was it was getting very short on time there. So okay. Oh, I thought I was creeping in a bit positionally. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh man, these things happen in blitz, don't they? Ah, oh, in time pressure. <laughs> okay. I was trying to sacrifice the queen, not lose it outright. Uh, it's <laughs> okay. Bishop e6, I guess. <clears throat> Bishop e6. Maybe I can consider just taking her just to try and get a dark square uh, pressure in this position. Queen d2, that sort of thing. Dark square grip. Can I do this? Why don't, why don't I just take on d5 of interest? I can still take on d5. So if castles, I think knight f6 check is good because takes, takes, then there's bishop, uh, then there's queen h6. 
Uh, so I think, yeah, this is good. Uh, knight takes c7 is threatened. So knight f6 on castling is looking good. One thing I did think when swapping off that bishop, just instinctively uh, from a lot of games I've on uh, covered on the channel recently, is um, so sometimes you can get pressure on the other color when you give up a bishop of a certain color. You can get pressure on the other color. Okay, I just don't want my center to collapse here. Oh, there is a form pawn. <laughs> T-H-O-R-N, form pawn. There's D5 for knight E5 check, potentially. D5 and knight E5 check. This looks very promising. Okay. I still think this is very promising, this position. Uh, d5 for knight e5. d5 here looks very good. In particular, with the king on d8. Um, so yeah, when I played that bishop takes, I was thinking, you know, dark square grip. Uh, there's a lot of games of and he gives up a bishop and then dominates on the other color. Um, right. Okay, if I take her, and I guess I could take her, and f7 is a dangerous pawn. Oh, there's queen takes for 95. To simplify queen takes, 95, I've just realized. Some forcing moves available, always check for forcing moves, could really simplify things like here and literally simplify the position queen takes 95 and there's taking f8 okay thanks for the game commentator uh, graph Okay. Hi. I'll try C five early here. Maybe B five early, just or not. I don't know. D six maybe is a bit less risky. Um. Let's just just do this. How is this Benoni going to be? How good is this Benoni set up? FCD, maybe ED is possible. Aha. Uh -huh. You know, maybe B5 is interesting here. Immediately. From knight E4, queen A5. Unless I'm imagining this. Uh, is this possible here? Hmm. Um. Check. Maybe. Uh. No. Check. Yeah. You know. I. I. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Knight e four. Check. No. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe this is wrong. All right. Here. It looks. It looks tempting here for the check. And then bishop c3. So knight takes check, knight c3, bishop c3, taking on b5. Um. I uh, hope it's okay. I hope this is okay. Uh, hmm. If White Castle maybe taking, taking Bishop F5 hitting the rock. 
Oh, that's going to turn that's going to turn up now for the books. I think that's pleasant enough to take on c3. I want to keep my Vincenzo bishop. Um yeah, I think that's that's probably the way to go. Probably. Okay, if I nick this pawn. It might come in handy later and get a tempo. Bishop c6 is a slight concern. What if I put the bishop back after rook b3? Would that be a problem? Oh, uh, what about here? If I just take and uh, put the bishop back, I'll be a pawn up. There's a little bit of compensation. Let's put the bishop back. I think d5 is slightly looser than usual, probably. Uh huh. Okay. Maybe. Um. I don't fancy f6 particularly. Uh, I didn't fancy queen e7 that much. So. The trade here. Okay. The trade. Um, all right, can I get in, uh, if I do this, can I get in knight a6 to b4? Would you play a3? So I guess a3 is played. Is a3 played? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, this knight's a bit of a liability. Uh, so probably in a silly place. So what about queen c8 for a moment? That's rook b6. All right, let's stop messing around. Knight c7. Knight c7 maybe. <laughs> hmm. If I play this, a4 seems like potentially useful. Now I can do this uh, just to hold for a moment. D6. Right, and try and push through. Oh, a4 is a liability. Um, if I do this for a moment, that gives the possibility of queen f6. Alright, rook a7 just to hold, let's group b8, queen e7, that could be a disaster. Maybe I should just give up a4. Mm. Oh, there's queen f6. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There isn't. Um, okay, this is a pain. I think I'm going to give up a4 to try and reorganize here somehow. And I'm getting, I'm 30 seconds behind on the clock. I don't want e8 to be a li massive liability. Oh, okay. Um, that's a shame. All right, I can get a grab center pawn anyway.
Mm-hmm. It's difficult, isn't it? Um, it's going to be difficult with that A pawn as well. Yes, this looks very bad. Okay, can I stop the A pawn for a moment? Maybe D5 is possible. D5 and C4. Oh, maybe there was also the possibility of something else there. Um, oh, this looks very dicey. 36 seconds, I've got to speed up as well. I think I'm doomed at the moment. I'm looking as though, unless these pawns are working, doing something magical. Uh, can I do something with these pawns? Draw. Try and make a draw. Yeah. <laughs> well played. Well played. That was good. I mean, I was doomed. I think we're best play. I have to be doomed. Uh, yeah. Well played. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was creaking. D five. Mm. I hope I can console. Hmm. Maybe I'm just wondering about Bishop E6 about 9G5 there. So we can play Queen D7, that would be something maybe. Uh huh. If I took here. Yeah. Well, just what about if I took on E4? Can I afford to take a pawn here in the center? Is that pawn up for grabs? Or not? Does it is it a poison pawn? Actually, here I can I can take on f three. I think that was a little bit of good news there, taking on f three. <clears throat> looks looks pleasant at the moment. I can put pressure down the default. Rook D eight, Rook A D eight, and um uh, well we'll see we'll see Rook A D eight. Looks like a nice move. I mean it's not just pretty, it's 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 something to do. Okay. So uh Okay I can threaten 
Queen takes to simplify. Uh, the a5 pawn, hang on. That's a mis sort of misplaced rook. Okay, I can take to simplify. Might be worth doing that. But like these seven after f four. Oh, was that, oh, thanks, thanks. Uh, okay, let's go on to the next challenge mechanic. Okay, mechanic. Um, I'll play Magnus Carlsen's Night A phrase. I've been wondering about this. <laughs> uh, he did play recently Magnus Carlsen, yeah, Night A three. It's a surprise move. It's surprising that Magnus got such a bad position out of the opening. When I looked at the game, it's also surprising. People seem to want to make out the games are very exciting. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure they were. I just, I just couldn't see it. I, I just couldn't see it. Anyway, but no, Knight A three, A three was was really, uh, really interesting innovation. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and play this in the spirit of Knight A three. I'm gonna swing the knight into the center. I think this was the point. Sometimes you get this. Knight swinging towards the center. Oh, okay. Closed King's engine attack in reverse. G3. Bishop G2. Knight F3. There's a knight F3 in castle. It's it's a reasonable position. It's nothing nothing special. It's just a bit of theory avoidance. I guess. It's a bit of theory avoidance. But there's nothing special here. Hmm. E5 dot FD, uh, D7, D4. There's always take take out this B4 square out of things and get the this this diagonal not to be such a liability. King F8, King F8, really. Okay, I think um I'll try and gain some space over here. Knight e three to G oh actually a h five first, which means that the knight on g four is not gonna be kicked that easily. Trying to fix down these pawns. So knight e three to g four. Uh-huh. It's really made defence, isn't it? It's nice the rook was on h6. There's no there's no hack attack if black had castle. I can see the method now in the madness. In the apparent madness. It's not it's not so mad. The king on f8, the rook on h8. What do I do here? I can try and swap off the bishop to try and Yes, I'll swap off that bishop. Try and weaken these dark squares. Maybe the B file, the rook's stuck on H8, so what about this B file? I think it went down the B file route. Whilst that rook's on H8. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, I can be first on this B file celebration. It's not doing anything, is it? This B-file's not doing anything. Okay. Uh, you know what? I need I need some other ingredients to this. Otherwise, nothing's happening here. I need some other ingredients. I need to think of some... Uh, I'll play this so I can kick the king. B8. 
back with check because there's no g6 right queen c2 kick the king back keep the rook on h8 for a moment when i'm thinking about this position i want to keep that rook on h8 now there is an infiltration on b6 which seems tempting enough queen b7 rook b1 takes takes it's almost like winning a piece That was literally a weakness of the last move, that move, wasn't it? That B6, I think, was just literally just in time opportunity on the weakness of the last move. This looks very much fun for me, I think. Queen C7 for Rook B6. If the knight moves Rook B8. If king h7, there's queen f7. Queen on c7 doesn't seem as though it's going anywhere. So there's rook b6 introduced. There's also queen f7 on king h7. Uh, if the knight ever moves, there's rook b8 pinning the knight. I think this infiltration is very dangerous. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe I need to keep the torture going with queen d6. If if this is torture, um, actually maybe it's not. I don't know. Queen d6. Exchange of queens. Uh, actually, there's rook b6 on the cards. So, hmm, knight g6. A tactical solution here. Knight g6. Queen e6. King eight inch is mating. Queen e six. King f eight. You know that would be better with the bishop there on e six. That whole thing would be better with the bishop on here for. Let's have a look at this again. Queen e six. King f eight. H g threatens mate. Uh, queen f eight. Queen c six. So this looks good actually. Oh, I'll go for it. So takes check. That's mating. Takes threatens mate. Queen e a queen c six hits bishop. <coughs> queen c six threatens for ninety seven check. Right. So queen c6, I think knight e7 check wins a piece. Right. Fg queen e6. Okay, I'll, I'll go with this. Okay, thanks for the game. Okay, got a bit tactical there. Okay, a bit tactical. Shelling forward. I think I've had some good positions from C4. Ah, okay. Now we had we had some discussions on this before. I think I've had good games from this before. I was trying to learn from one of the games about... And I had a good position, I didn't examine my forcing moves. I had regret after that, even for Blitz game. If I have a good position, I want, I want to make sure I check my forcing moves. <coughs> Basically. Uh, can I do 95 here? Because I think, yeah, this is reminiscent of other games a bit. In this line that we've had, a bit reminiscent. Oh, 
I thought I've had a bit of pressure going on in some positions like this. Um, F-pawn seems logical enough. If I got rid of the dark square bishop here, would that be something, I wonder? Right. So, E, F, am I just worse here? What about Queen, D6? That pawn's not very strong, is it? <clears throat> mm. EF Maybe EF is, is needed I'm, I'm guessing it might be needed I'm left, left with a backward pawn here Which is horrible <laughs> Alright <clears throat> Am I getting positionally murdered? Or can I parry this pressure? I don't know, rook f1? Maybe c4 is something to think about. c4 might be something to think about. Uh, bishop e4. Yeah, I can damage his pawn structure a bit. Rook f6. Is C4 anything? I don't know actually. You could just take, check, so what? Bishop E6 even. Is there a big deal there? Alright, I thought this. I could damage the pawn structure there. <clears throat> okay, can I do something about this? Maybe Bishop F1 seems too passive. Bishop F3. Or queen b2. I think bishop f3 might might be self-healing in some respects, but this rook on the seventh is frightening. If he can just take in rookie two, it's frightening. All right, I'll batten down the hatches. I think try to. I think there's rook f2 now. Takes takes rook f2. <clears throat> okay, I'm hoping rook f2 is possible, or c4 maybe. Oh, queen e6 stops c4. Okay, he's trying to weaken my king. I wonder if g4 here is the best bet. If I did this. How bad is my king here? Mm. Could get very scary. If I did... Oh, there's rookie free to g3. If I did that, there's queen h7. That's definitely a bad idea, I think. So... Not too many choices really. Queen h7 to yeah, coordinating. And I'm on the defensive, definitely. Ah. Queen c2 would be nice for queen g6 if I ever got the chance. Can I get the chance? We get two connected passports. No, I think that's. You'd have to take with the rook. As long as he doesn't get two connected past pawns. <clears throat> and a queen of five. If I took then there's rookie two. Let's just do queen f five for a moment. Try and stay on the board as a priority. If I can take with f4 with the queen, maybe that's possible. Q4. 
King F3, Rook E3, King F4, losing too many pawns. A4, uh, Rook B2, B5, A4, A6, AB, AB, Rook A2. I need this king. I need this king f3 is. Okay, rook e3, king takes takes a pawn h4. If he takes that pawn. Uh, I think, um. Probably. Pro probably. Um. Try and. Do this. Weaken the pawns. Or not, it just plays b5, maybe just b5. Ah, can I stop the king coming in? Otherwise, I think... No, this looks this looks pretty horrible, as Rogan Pawn in and goes. Ah, it's got check winning a pawn soon. Ah, I can take the file, maybe. Rookie 2. So he takes upon rookie two. I'm hoping rook g three. There might be something rookie two again, or g five. Rookie two takes rookie six. Rook c six. And rook c five. Oh, he's got king e four. No, no, no. I don't like that. He's got king e four. Let's stop this king coming in. Unless I'm getting mated. Um. Put the king on. Put the rook on g3. Uh oh. Right. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I think I think that's in. That's it. Oh, I gave it a shot. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Good place. Very strong opponent. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> well played. It's a thrill anyway. It's it's a roller coaster. I've <laughs> had some chances. Roller coaster ride. <laughs> okay, let's try try to be daring King's Gambit. So knight z3 maybe and h3. This is, looks like I might be castling queenside here. As long as d4 doesn't collapse, I'm thinking I could put a spin on this king's gambit castle queenside. Uh, so. Uh, oh, that f5 square. Oh, I don't like giving up the f5 square, but maybe there's knight e2. Maybe it's not so bad. Hems in the bishop. 
Uh, knight uh, f5. Yes, d4 is not falling too quickly just yet. Right here. Oh. Knight e5. I don't think there's a. Actually, this is a concern. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of this bishop. Let's get rid of this bishop. <clears throat> I, I don't like the loose pieces on the F file, particularly. So, I'm trying to do something about that. This is all right, I think, because I've weakened those squares a bit. D5 on the fire. Bishop e6, knight g5, and bishop goes back. e6, uh, possibly. And what about knight takes d5 here? <clears throat> G4 is G4 plausible? What about actually Queen C? Actually, Queen C3 might be something. Um, Bishop E6, Knight moves as long as there's no Queen sack. I, I think. This is plausible. Uh, okay, I'd like to connect my rooks. Ideally, I, I want to connect the rooks. It feels a bit secure to have pieces protecting each other. Just tactically secure. Just, just to do this, to connect the rooks. Hello, hello. Just to connect the rooks. So knight f6 coming up. About her. So Queen E seven hunt knight G five. Now if takes 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 Queen G eight I think. Ah oh, maybe someone else will get the doorbell. <laughs> Please. Uh, I might have to go if it carries on. Ugh. I mean, for a minute. Ugh. Okay. Is anyone answering the door? Okay. Uh, ho hold on. <laughs> hold on a sec. Um, pod.
Trying to get my breath. <laughs> okay. If I can get my breath back. This has been running. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, maybe I can start protecting e4 with bishop f5 or not. I'm going here. <clears throat> maybe I, I should keep this around just for. Um, I don't know if I can sacrifice later. Or White's position is too strong. Hmm. I think White's got a solid position here. Uh, mm, maybe this way. No, the center file is is important here. Knight d5 is a pain. Knight d5. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Why it's pretty solid here. It concerns me. Okay, some dark squares. I can see some dark squares have been... Uh, there might be an issue on dark squares. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh, uh -huh. I'm going to get my uh, knight into a dark square, maybe. Um... Will I? Mm, maybe there's bishop f6 there on queen g5. Yeah, if I can get uh, this position. Yeah, queen h6 though, queen h6. Ah, uh, there's time to pop in with queen d8 for bishop g5. Knight d5 I'll take, okay, I can get my knight f4 in. Hmm, bishop g5, knight takes h3. Or, oh, I, 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 I hope this is worth doing, bishop g5. Um, when does the queen go? When does the queen go? F2, knight h5, bishop f4 check, bishop g3 could at least win the exchange or something. Right, so bishop f4, bishop g3. So I'm streaming, sorry. <clears throat> Knight f4. Coming up, coming up. Knight f4. Looks like positionally uh, interesting. Or even this ending. If I force through this, no, my backward c pawn is a big concern. If I got the queen, this backward c pawn is a big concern here. Hmm. Yeah, well, it's pretty solid, huh? Try and defend C7 with this one. Rook D, D7. So is, is that King G7? And what to do now? What to do? Let me check, Knight G3. Oh, 
I don't want deep on there. That's why. Oh, I'll take that. This. I don't want that deep on crashing through. Oh, hang on. Is that five worth considering? Just to put some pressure on white structure here. F5. Uh, D6 is going on, not F5. Like I thought, instead of that, which loses a rook, C takes. Uh, the B6 ball might go. <laughs> B6 might go. I see. Oh, what about E4 though here? I thought take with the queen. So I wanted to put some pressure. Um, yeah. Blockade. Um, get the king up. Okay, these pawns seem as though they want to go places. I don't know if this is sloppy, allowing... I hope not. <laughs> allowing bishop c4. I, I thought king d6. Okay. Oh, hang on. That would be sloppy. Okay, let's stop this pawn safely. We're trying to lose all the bits. Nope. We'll be losing all the bits if I'm not careful. I'll take it. It was a very good fight. It was a very good fight. Well played. Yeah, I, was, I had a lot of problems there. Okay. Let's play e4 here. Um, just try this knight a3 business. <laughs> My name is Carlson's knight a3. He played it recently. Honest. Um, Play for d4 like a sort of more of a style. I, I don't think I want to stop the pin. Hmm. Okay, at the moment, uh, looks as though it's okay. Although knight c5 is a concern, maybe I need to take that off. Okay, b4 might be plausible. I'm hoping it is. This is dangerous, obviously. This diagonal. Tempo gains are dangerous, but I think both covered. My queen's not subject to a major tempo gain, I hope. Um, 
Oh. Oh. I could take with the knight and go back to b3 after. Mind you, I could take with the rook and then go to d4 and then to c6. Mind you, knight f6, queen d3, knight d5, queen d5, rook c2. Maybe taking with the knight is a little bit safer for the moment. It means that knight f6, queen d3, I don't have to nanny the knight. So does this mean now hmm, knight d4 there's always a knight d5 there's no knight c6 at the moment uh, knight b3 b5 knight d4 knight c6 might be more of a plan plan b5 knight b3 knight d4 knight d5 knight c6 Rook c3 on, on, on there, queen d2, knight d5, knight c6. How about bishop d4 for a moment, knight d5. And bishop h6, queen c3, queen d4, the other one c4. This might be the right way, no. Oh, I'm a bit confused now. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I'll I'll go with that pawn loss for knight c6. It's not very convincing. Knight d5, knight c6, knight e3, queen e3. It's possible. It's possible. I suppose this is a good idea. Well, especially with the queen, uh, with the rook there, knight c6 is now threatening queen c3. Uh, so knight d5, knight c6. Right, knight e3, there's queen takes c3 there. Knight e3, queen takes d5. E6, let's say E6. Oh, okay. It's a concern. I'm fine. Just I G7 for a moment. Try and do something here. Uh, let's see, rook c2, queen d4, f6, uh, f6 is sufficient, right? Okay. Hmm. So rook c2, queen d4, let's run with this, run with this. Knight f6 says, oh, there isn't queen f6 for rook x, the queen's on e8. So in this one with rook c2, queen d4. Uh huh. Am I getting on the defensive? Better do something quick. Um. Here, yeah? I hope this is not losing a piece. E5, knight b3 hits the queen. Knight f5 might be introduced. If takes queen g5, queen g7 after. Alright, I think that's good news. I can just snap that off. Thanks for the game. Boshev. Thanks. Okay, that was a lot of complications. Um, so, Cobra, hmm. <clears throat> 
I'm trying to eye these dark squares, so it looks like structurally that's the thing to do here. Try and uh, put, put pressure on the dark squares. Uh, I think D6 might be plausible. It's possible E5 might be possible, even though it weakens D5, that um, it gives some perks here, like H6 and F5 later. Ah, okay, okay. What about Queen B6 and Knight D5, Queen B2, Rook B1, no, maybe not. We're not just taking, just taking, it looks like uh, I've gained a tempo on a dragon, potentially. Have I gained a tempo on a dragon? Ah, that's interesting. So, um, if I cancel, mm. right. I it's it's uh, like we'll be. I'm tempted, but you know this A seven pawn. Also, I'm tempted by H five as well, but okay. Uh, I'll I'll kick off with A five. Just I don't know, kick off with this. I'm thinking Rook B eight might be handy. Too mm, early to say how. <laughs> B three. Uh, okay. A bit of maneuvering is needed, I think. Uh, actually, yeah, I might be able to play knight g4 here. Just try and grab this light square bishop. Maybe it's worth something. Um. Uh, okay, okay, I'll play this. I'll play this. In the absence of really not knowing exactly what's going on now, uh, F F six F six maybe F six. Okay, teasing with this. F four. No, no, I'm just provoking weaknesses. I'm just trying to provoke some weaknesses. F four looks tempting, but there's check, and then maybe something after that is interesting. Although I've just realized my E7 is hanging here. <sighs> okay, E7 is hanging. What about F6? F, E, F, G. I'll try this. I don't like my king side that much. Although, it might not be the end of the world, although it's looking dangerous. Queen g5 looks dangerous. Bishop e5 is check. Maybe king g7. Oh, hang on. King G seven. That's a reprieve. He's giving me a check. I know there's rook f one after, but there's say bishop h three. I think that was a mistake. There's no way that looks right to me. That was I think a reprieve. I can play bishop takes h three here. Just 
stop working for one. This game was chaos. Came a bit chaotic. Ah. Uh, Check King crawls over here because otherwise, if it goes over here, then mopping up G6 would check. If the king's might as well put the king over here on D7. Um, check, check, King D7. I think I was let off. I think white might have been doing fine before. Let's have a more than fine. Let's have a quick look at that. Actually, I think analysis. analysis. Oh, it's much better. Yeah, this was a let off. Hang on, no, I I thought Queen G five was the move. Is that not the move? Oh, Black's better after that. Oh, okay. Apparently this. No, black might be okay. You never know. What 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 happened here though? No, this this didn't happen. No, that's what I was thinking should happen. Is King H one? And I thought this was scary. Rook F one. Apparently. This is, looks terrifying thing to do. Queen to, it looks terrifying. But if I do something like this, then e7 drops. And that's why I, was, I thought e7 is good, if nothing else. But there's also bishop takes h5. But let's have a quick look at this computer move, which is terrifying to play, I think. Why it is better. This doesn't work. This can't work. I thought check is dangerous. No king a. Or maybe that's the point. The king could run. Maybe the king runs, but apparently, in fact, there's um, rook b1 here, isn't there? I'll just take. No, that's that's no good. All right, it was really it was really complicated. Okay, it was quite. I thought it was scary. I thought it was very scary. <sighs> okay. Uh, nope. Let's not leave the game. This is an old seventies line. I kind of like the look off. If I can get it with e six f four, I quite like that. But uh, let's see, that's not gonna happen. Um, it looks as though knight e4 might be plausible. That's what I'm worried about. Let's just drop this bishop back for a moment. Because I'm thinking of things like takes and takes on c3. I, I don't know, maybe that was plausible. Can I play it under good circumstances? Bishop f3, is that good circumstance? Oh, actually bishop b6 might be nice to try and control the default. Bishop b6. Is that something? Or is it nothing? Or is there maybe bishop c5? There's always taking on b3 to factor in. Maybe maybe actually instead of this bishop move, what about knights? Okay. 
is decided for me. Okay, a forcing move. I can try and control the B, uh, D file for a moment. Is this enough for anything, though? Is this enough? Maybe there's rook d7, actually. Rook d7, if I could undermine c6 with rook b7, that would be something. So rook d7 coming up. Hmm. Ah, it's a fun spoiler. I think I want to keep the bishop pair just in case. It's a bit committal to simplify further. Yeah, the bishop pair must. Sometimes the bishop pair is good, and the end game to surely. In fact, I I keep my threat of rook d seven. Hmm. Do I? I think he's always got bishop and rook d8. Does he? Bishop c7, rook d7. I'm controlling d1. There's no rook d8. I can just take. There's no rook d1. Uh, bishop a5, rook d7, rook d8, rook b7 again. In other words, it seems as though I'm threatening here rook d7. This actually seems like. Oh, don't tell me I have to get the door again. Please don't tell me I have to get the door again. <laughs> I'm going to have to extend this, this, this session. It's going to go into extra opening the door time, like a football match. Extra opening the door time at this rate, I'm afraid. Uh, okay, sorry about this. I, I, my back row is weak. Let me just, before I get checkmated out of distraction, can I do something about my back row before a total tactical disaster happens? <laughs> uh. So, bishop d5, <coughs> pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. I think I should consider taking on f7. There's other things to consider. But this looks tempting. C is very stronger now. Let's <clears throat> check on f8. I could take out this knight. I think I want to take out the knight, it's too dangerous. This pawn's dangerous. Um, I'm going to get behind this pawn. Alright, opposite... Ooh, that's a lot of pawns, you know. I'm going to go for that. That's a lot of pawns. i got blockades and I've got queenside pawns. Okay, uh, on the game. Thanks, 
It's more fun. Joanna. Joanna. <clears throat> So the Scandinavian. If I do this. If I castle. I've, I, I suspect that's pretty solid. Yeah. So far, so good, I think. For both sides. Uh, maybe rook e1 and bishop g5. Um. Ah, hang on a sec. Maybe I can just win a pawn here. This looks like um, it might be a case of winning a pawn here. Or is it a gambit? I'm not sure it's a gambit because... I think d4 is okay when the knight moves. d4 still is okay. So c3, rook e1, uh, knight e5, that sort of thing. c3, rook e1, knight e5. Maybe. That looks as though it's a reasonable... Uh, to strengthen things uh, so rookie one and then let's see let's see uh, maybe knight g5 trying to challenge this knight on e4 I hope that's okay so taking taking some pressure on e7. Uh, let's say the rook uh, protects uh, maybe something like queen f3 is plausible. Oh, okay. Let's let's keep some pressure, or maybe not. Okay, I'll keep the bishop here. Oh, I'm tempted to take. I'm tempted to take the bishop. I'll take the bishop. I'll take the bishop. I, actually, I've, I think I've got a simple plan on this file. I, I just double the rooks on this file, surely. Surely I can just double the rooks on this file. With something like rook e3. I can even put the rooks on dark squares away from the bishop. Rook, rook e3. Double the rooks. Uh, then think about things after that for a moment. All right, uh, stop any bishop g4. Can make some air for the king. Uh. Mm, so rook a e1. Ah, uh, now g4. Yeah, looks as though there's f7. Behind the bishop, yeah. So take on f7 and uh, rook h3. Oh, is there anything stronger? Uh, <clears throat> right, thanks for the game, Janma. I think I've got time because of the door stoppages. But another game. So getting, uh, extra time. Okay. That's silly me on. That's cricket fun. Right. Cricket fan. Uh, 
on. <laughs> Some interesting comments in the chat. Uh, um, hmm. Okay. So I can try and play this like Nimzovich. Uh, this game. I'll dedicate it to Aaron Nimzovich. Try and restrain. I'm trying to slow, in, slow down this side. I'm going to try and play like Leela Chass if possible. I'm going to try and slow down this side. And I'll be like a film director. I'm going to try and speed up over here. Like directing a film. My own film. Film director. I want to like freeze. Slow down this side. Speed up that side. Fundamentally. I think that's what I want to do. So I've been coached by this thing called Leela Chess, this advanced neural network. <laughs> by looking at all of the games recently, and I can, I can, I think someone's also expressed it in another way. I think they use the word stifle. You just try and stifle uh, certain parts of the board, then go on the attack. But C5 is on the cards here, right? There's no. Let's let's make that clear though. C5 is on the cards, and let's, let's try and try and uh, stifle C5. It's still on the cards. And in fact, uh, in fact, I've used the a5 square up. A knight would have been happy there. This is not easy. This is not easy. If I can get c5 in, maybe, you know, just to stifle this side of the board, and then, as I say, like a film director, try and speed up over here. You know, h5, h4, that sort of thing. Open up lines. That's, that's the general plan. Ah, that is self-stifling, because now c5 break is not on. I think that's self stifling. Okay, so maybe um, uh, I think I can lock down overprotect e4. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Knight to c6 is a concern. So maybe knight c5 round about here. Um, I think we've been robbed, guys. The last 10, 15 years, we, if only neural networks, we would have learnt so much. We would have learnt so much about the game in the last 10, 15 years. It would have affected opening theory. Okay, it's happening now because of graphic cards, self-learning neural networks, but there's so much to learn, I think, at the moment. Ah. Uh, I think there's a very there's very specific reasons why there's so much to learn from neural networks as opposed to brute force chess engines. Um, it's the the patterns are clearly being reused across games. That's one thing I've noticed. And so you can pick up themes and you can get more than one example quite clearly. If you're looking at normal engine analysis, everything's hanging in some virtual thread of analysis, very specific to that game. I just think we can learn so much conceptually from neural networks, you know, because uh, it's this different approach, different approach. Uh, but anyway, this is this is Nimzovetian at the moment. I'm just just trying to slow down, freeze a side of the board where, if you're playing in the King's Engine, this side of the board would be like a wreck, you know, like demolished. So this is a perk of this opening at the moment. It's not totally like, wrecked the Queen side. So I want to try and speed up this side of the board. <clears throat> Maybe the way to do this freezing is to take it here. Deprive the knight of d4. I think there's d6. That's the big problem here. The knight's justified. If I tell you, there's d6. I think this is the way to freeze things here. No d6, no breaks. Immediately. And then start speeding things up over here. Round about here, there's no knight a7 to c6. So, <clears throat> trying to do something over here now. Is this weakening? Like, is this is a form pawn, or is it is it opening files? Is it going to be a form pawn, T H O R N, or is it going to be opening files? There has to be a lesser evil decision being made by White here. Okay, 
instead of g3 okay this file opening will take some note g4 I'm trying to speed up this is the action scene I want over here aha uh aha -huh. uh -huh. it's not so easy is it in a real game it's not so easy hmm Maybe how my attacking resources are being uh, dwindled here. Uh, there is a four to Nick. This seems totally an irrelevance. Uh, I'm issuing a parking ticket here. Okay, I feel I'm issuing issuing a parking ticket rather than conducting a nice attack now. Okay, here's your parking ticket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I wish another one to take another pawn. It's greed. It's greed. It's greed. It's 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 dull. Okay, but it seems okay to do this. Knight c three. Knight c three and then queen e five. Well, it seems to do okay to do this. Use this a pawn. A4, A3, A2. A1, Queen A1. Oh, there's no knight you want, Queen E1. No, I have to work on that. Um, okay, I'll take her. Is my back row fatally weak at the moment? I've got an escape square. Usually, uh, a two. A two looks good. Queen g six. I can play queen takes d five and f g. Queen b two. There's um. Maybe there's queen b two. Hmm. Well, I I, I think. This must be okay, surely, surely. Queen b2, let's think about queen b2 though. All right, if I just take the bishop off, there's uh, a1, supported a1. I'm gonna take it here, let's check. And do something with my king, perhaps. With g6, okay, thanks for the game, thanks for the game. That's the middle on. All right. Um, yeah, check out the neural network games. I think they're so much more instructive than any engine games I've ever seen in my life. You might not believe me, but I think this is a new era of chess education is upon us, driven by, believe it or not, graphics cards. <laughs> I, I think a new era is on chess. We're entering a new era, I believe, from what I've seen, because I didn't expect uh, Lila to necessarily defeat 43 core cool machines but that's happening with just two graphics cards so yeah okay uh see you next week yeah have a good rest of the weekend um see you next week thanks so much